Thanks for joining us today. I'm Gabe Garrison, owner of Backwoods Pursuit, and today we are going to do an Argali Absaroka tent review. This is one of Argali's new ultralight hot tents. We're able to use this this fall during the hunting season as well as on some backpacking trips through the summer. So I wanted to bring to you the results of how it performed for us in our field testing, some of the pros and the cons, some of the things we liked and didn't like about the Absaroka tent here, and some of the versatility that you get with this tent and the ways you can use it and set it up. Really appreciate it. If you hit that subscribe button and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, check out our website, backwardspursuit.com. Tons of gear reviews over there. I will put links to all that down in the description, as well as a link to the Argali Absaroka tent, so you can check it out for yourself. Let's get started. All right, the Argali Absaroka tent. This is the, the tent here itself and the insert. We're gonna go over both of these in this video. Uh, some of the quick specs here. This is the four person, the Absaroka is the four person, whereas the Rincon is the two person. Uh, we'll have a review on both of these, but this one is the, our, the uh, Absaroka here, this four person. So the, the shelter itself, the tent here, the canopy, comes in depending on if you have the stove jack or not. It's removable, we'll, sh we'll show you that here in a minute. But that comes in right around two pounds. You can go a little bit over or a little bit under depending on if you have that stove jack in there or not. And that is with six stakes here. And then the, the, uh, the insert or the nest, whatever you wanna call it here, comes in at just over two pounds if you wanna add that in. So you're gonna be roughly four pounds with this setup. And it's good for, I've used up to three people very easily. Really two and a stove is what it's designed for, but a three without it and even four without a stove, uh, it's a little tight though with four. So those are some of the quick specs. You got 20 denier sill poly instead of sill nylon with this tent. It is great for uh, resisting sagging when it gets wet. So it's better in my experience than sill nylon. Uh, so I really like that about the Argali Absaroka tent here. And it's real quick and easy to set up. I'm gonna throw it up here, go over some of the features and specs for you. And then we'll talk about how it performed for us out in the field. Now to set this up, it's really easy. You got two doors. So you're gonna find one of the doors here and go to the, uh, the loop on the other side of the door and then go ahead and stake that down. So next you're gonna skip one of these loops and then go to the back corner. This is a lot like a teepee. And then we're gonna not tension it all the way, but go ahead and just have it pull it tight and then let it loose. Same thing on this corner and then on that corner as well. And then you'll have the framework of the tent in. Next up, you'll pick a center pole. Argali has a center pole you can pick out here. It's a carbon pole, comes in at just 12 ounces. And that's the one I use primarily, but I also wanted to show you here that these are the new Argali trekking poles. Now these are cool in that you can use this as your center pole, save some weight. There's a little rubber piece on the top here of both of these that comes off. And then one of the things that, that these offer is you've got a, a piece here that attaches and both of these are threaded right there in the top. So you can screw this in and use this as your center pole and, and it'll attach these two trekking poles together just like that. So now you've got a center pole uh, and you'll extend this out to the appropriate length here and you are good to go with the center pole. So very awesome that way that you can save some weight here with this and go ahead and and not have to, to pick up this carbon center pole if you don't want to. It gives you the option to use a trekking pole, particularly these carbon trekking poles from, uh, from Argali that works really well. All right, so once you've got your trekking pole set here, you're gonna find your door, open this guy up, and then find your center at the top here. And then once you've got that, you're gonna put that right into the top here and, open, and uh, straighten this all the way up here. Now you're gonna have to adjust the height just a little bit, of course, uh, so you get the correct height here. And so you can go ahead and, and do that with the trekking pole. And then there's a lot of adjustments, of course, on a trekking pole, so it makes that pretty nice and easy. Let you go ahead and do that. And now you've got the basis of the shelter all set up real fast and easy. Now what we're going to go do is, is uh, stake down those other three corners, the ones that we skipped initially, actually four of them. So we'll have a total of eight stakes total, and that's the minimum you want with this shelter. 
So that's the basics of setting that up. Took me seven or eight minutes, maybe. It's real quick and easy. Now, if you're expecting any high winds or if you want to go over here and guy out the sides, you can, I tied on some line locks here to the, to the, the, the guy out points. So you've got one here on this corner, you can do that. It's gonna give you even more room on the interior. I did one for, for each of the corners there, so, and then grabbed a couple extra stakes and threw them in. So and that has worked really well to give you a little bit of extra space on those sides. Now there's another door on that other side, just like this. So you don't have a guy out for either of the doors, of course, but you do have two guy outs there on the sides to give you more space on the interior. Now here, the inside of the tent, you can see there's a lot of space here. I'm 5'11", so this comes up right about the six foot mark as far as the peak height. So it's not really a tent you're gonna stand in so much, but it gives you plenty of space here on the interior. Uh, for three people, I've had three of us in here. It worked really well, uh, especially if you go over here and you guy out these sides, you're gonna give yourself a whole lot more space on the interior. You can see here, I've not guyed this out, but if you do so, it really opens up the inside of that gives you even more space on the interior. But as is, especially when it's in floorless mode like this, you can quite easily get two on either side of this. And then of course, if you do have your stove here, you're gonna be putting the stove right here in the, the stove jack area. Uh, then you really would just have two on the one side there and the stove and gear over on this side. Now, one of the cool features about this is you've got a great ventilation system here. This little piece right here unvelcros and then it lays flat for when you're storing it or if you don't want that ventilation or it just stands up and you can go ahead and make sure the inside of the tent is ventilated very well. Now, if you want to convert this to a hot tent, it's really easy. You're going to go ahead and grab the zipper here. This is just a rain cover here for the stove jack and that pulls right out. Now you have a, that, that sill poly cover and it allows you access to the stove jack. Now also, if you don't want to use the stove jack and just want to have this in there, that Velcro attaches right there on the bottom and it zips in. And this, uh, the stove jack unzips itself as well. If we wanted to take that out, same thing, just unzip the stove jack, replace it with this, and then you save a few ounces with the stove jack. So uh, if you're not using it as a hot tent, to go ahead and take that out and replace it with the sill poly. Now we'll go ahead and, and put the stove pipe in here, make sure our rings on this stove are there in the appropriate places here. Make sure they come through the, the, the flashing there or the, the stove jack so that you have them in the, the right place and go ahead and stick that down now into the pipe. Now, one of the things I really like about the Argali Absaroka is the placement of the stove jack. As you can see here, we can still have the stove straight up and down and plenty far away from your center pole. Others I've tested, you kind of have to move that stove away and then it creates an angle on the stove pipe. Not ideal, but it works. So I like how far away they've moved this just off center just a little bit and enough that it's away from your sleeping quarters on this side so that if you are sleeping here and want to keep that going, it's not a big deal that way. And you've got the ability to, to place this just pointing towards either of the, the openings, which is nice. And you've got plenty of room for your gear over there and plenty of room for your sleeping quarters on this side. So a great setup as far as the placement of the stove jack. All right, now a few things we liked and didn't like about the Argali Absaroka tent here. Uh, one of the things we loved is just how easy and fast it is to set up. It's super versatile as well. You've got it set up in this mode where you've got floorless as the hot tent. And then you can also, like we used during the warmer months, add the full insert, the full nest. And then you've got a tent that is fully protected from any bugs or anything of that nature. And so it's great that way that you have complete coverage on the interior when you're using the insert. So really like that. Really like the sill poly rather than the sill nylon. It doesn't stretch as much. It did really well in a mountain storm that we were in this fall when we were out elk hunting. Did great that way. So overall, just a fantastic tent. I also really like on the zipper here, there is a zipper flap, whereas some of the others that I've used doesn't have the zipper flap. And we actually had some really cold weather on that hunt last year where the zipper nearly froze shut. So we had to do a little bit of work to get out of the tent because it, it rained and then froze really hard overnight and the zipper got covered in, in that rain. So, so that's, that's something that is kind of nice. And then these tie outs are real nice as well. Uh, they allow you to tie these doors back really quickly and easily. I love that you can have the option of using the trekking poles with this adapter uh, that Argali makes or their carbon pole and it's just 12 ounces for that or their trekking poles here are 16 ounces, eight ounces each, um, but you're using a multi-use kind of a tool. It's awesome that this converts from you know, a hot tent to a summer tent. Uh, you can use basically this thing for just about every season you want to. 
uh, depending on what you want to, want to use it for. So a couple things I didn't like so much. Um, I do wish that there was a half nest that was available for this. There may be in the future, but currently as of when we got this and when it first came out, there was just the full nest or the, the full insert or a floorless like this. Personally, I like having my sleeping quarters kind of clean. So I like to have a tarp or a nest or an insert or something like that. Now, another downside to the full insert that, that they do have is that when you use that, you don't have any gear storage. The full, the, the nest covers the entire interior. And so you really don't have a place to store your backpack or your boots or whatnot if it's muddy out and everything has to come in the tent. So we had that happen where we kind of like had to pull things and kind of set them off in the side of the tent and to get that side of the tent dirty uh, and, and, and mucky and whatnot because we'd been out in the rain during the day. So that's a downside to using the insert. Uh, whereas the insert also doesn't cover all of the the, uh, the, the guy out points. So how this tent kind of goes out at a little bit of a, at an angle and then the nest is, a, is just that square or that rectangle. So you lose a little bit of interior space when you're using the nest. So the, with the nest in here, it's a little tight with four because you are on either, you know, two on either side of this pole is a little bit tight, especially if you have two wide pads. Whereas when it's in this floorless mode, you can easily fit two on either side and it's not a problem at all. You can, you can see you've got plenty of room here. Uh, so four people would be a lot easier in floorless mode, but typically, at least for me, I'm gonna use floorless mode when I have a, a, a hot tent mode and I'm using a wood stove as later season, that kind of thing. So uh, that is something I think that the nest, if it fit more perfectly and you didn't lose a little bit about six inches, six to 12 inches on each side is what you lose with the nest. Uh, that would give you that little bit of extra space and a little more interior space when you're using the nest. Another thing I love about this is the super reflective guy out points, all the cord and the guy out points really just light up when your flashlight hits it. So if you're coming back to your tent after dark, makes it really easy to find. Again, the flap here on the zipper is a huge plus, especially if you get some rain or snow, uh, it makes it so it protects that zipper and you don't have to deal with a frozen zipper, which is something that, that we had happen to us. So I like that. Also like you've got some tie outs up here where you can tie some rope if you wanna hang your clothes, if you need to dry. So very nice in that regard also. And I love this Sil Poly material. It does a really good job. It doesn't sag when it gets wet like Sil Nylon does. It does a better job there. And it's just a really good quality, really good build by our golly here. Now I do wish that the tent came with the guy outs already installed or at least included, but I went ahead and, and picked up some additional cord here and a line lock and just tied it in myself. I find that the guy out it really is helpful. So I wanted to have that installed. So I installed it myself, but I wish it came with that. Uh, you also have to pick up a couple extra stakes if you want to use those. Not a big deal, but it'd be nice if it came with those couple extra stakes so you could easily use that if you decided you wanted to. Now, one last thing that I wish was an option with the Absaroka here was the ability to put them both in the same stuff sack if you wanted to. As it is, you have to put the shelter, the canopy in one stuff sack and then the nest in another. They don't, uh, they can't be put in there together. I tried, it's just a little too tight. So in the one hand, it's nice that you can go ahead and share that load because you're most likely going to be using this tent with somebody else. On the other hand, if you do want to carry it all yourself, you have two instead of one and it requires that you take this the nest out of the interior to be able to put them back in their stuff sack so a, a, a bit of a bummer that way if you want to just leave it all set up and just throw it up without having to take the nest out even though the nest is really really easy to install i, I wish it, you could do that without you could put them away without having to take the nest out so that is the argali absaroka tent it is an awesome super versatile tent that can be used anywhere from summer backpacking, throw the nest in there if you want that protection from bugs, to late season hunting like we've got it set up here where you've got the stove and you're able to put that heat source inside your tent which is an absolute game changer. So it's so versatile. The insert is really easy to take in and out of uh, if you want to use it or if you want to leave it home. Really nice that way. I just love the way that they designed this tent. It's such an awesome design from the removable stove jack to the sill poly that they've used. The design and craftsmanship all the way around is great. So drop any questions or comments for us. We'd love to help you out if we can. I will put a link to the Absaroka tent, to this Winterwell stove. This is the Winterwell Fastfold Titanium Stove, the Bigfoot Bushcraft fire plugs. Those are awesome if you are using these in a backpacking scenario. 
the Argali trekking poles and the carbon fiber pole if you want to go that route as well as the nest. So check all those out. Links are all down in the description. Thanks for watching here today and we will see you next time.